Noah Gregson in the nine on the outside. Justin Allgaier in the seven on the inside. 300 laps at Bristol for Underwood. Nine is the pole sitter, so it's fine to go to the line first. He just chose the outside lane. Daniel Hemrick in the 18 right behind him early. See Hemrick has gotten to the bottom. The race is to get to the bottom right now. Harrison Burton on the outside. From the 0-2 of Brett Moffitt, and this is not the welcome back Brett Moffitt wanted after being uh, away from the car for two weeks. Looks like he's had contact with the outside retaining wall. Daniel Hemrick, the race leader, chose the outside. So we'll see how this works out for him. Noah Gregson on the inside. Back to racing. Huge launch there for Daniel Hemrick. He jumps up into the lead, and the seven of Allgaier follows right behind and takes second away from Gregson. 35, it'll be 34 laps to go in stage one. Allgaier, great launch. Hemrick follows right behind. Noah Gregson trying to clear Haley. Gregson in the nine, Haley in the 11. Again, you know, Jade Buford's been difficult to pass, but both Gregson and Haley get by. Right now, with the racetrack the way it is, there's really no top groove. You're going to have to get aggressive with a guy or catch him in a bad situation track-wise. See Allgaier winning stage one from Bristol. Hemrick in second. Gregson Haley. Sam Mayer in the top five. And then Almondinger outdoing Austin Sendrick in stage one. Yeah, you had mentioned it's time versus distance. So that shorter distance potentially could get you. Allgaier. Gregson back underway for stage two. Lined up on the inside line, the 51 car, Jeremy Clements. Wasn't able to put on tires this time through, so he's got old tires on. Have to see where he nets out here, if he's able to maintain speed, or will he hold these guys up a little bit? Worried about a tire rub. This is where it came from. Four wide at Bristol. You can expect a tire rub from that. Caution on the racetrack. Caution comes out, and the 44. Uh, looks like one of the flaps up, uh, probably going the wrong direction at some point in time. As we get ready for the restart. Outside lane has been the one with the most advantage on the restart. Seems like all night. Hemmer gets a great... Oh, the oh, dead is really loose. He's got an issue. Could be a tire issue. Or just guard. did not get him cleaned up enough under that caution. He saved it amazingly and is still fighting for second now with Noah Gregson. Noah's loose here. And the cautions come back oh, out. Get back it down, back it down, back it down. And it could be some debris on the racetrack. We don't hold the 99 here. Yeah, Matt Mills right on the front stretch uh, is parked up against the inside wall. This inside line's not gotten launched very well. Not as bad this time. All guy on that outside is going to be able to clear Gregson. Through one and two. Now Gregson charging back on the inside. But Hemrick once again controlling the race. Oh, your crew chief is pumping you up, filling you full of confidence with things like that. It's got to help behind the wheel of a place like this. He's battling for the lead right here. Yeah, it does. They've caught this lap car again. Out, it went to that. I've got to went to the outside to take the lead. A little surprised that Seven chose the bottom. He could have chose the top. The gap's going to be about a car length and a half between Daniel Hemrick and Justin Allgaier. And it's going to be Hemrick who will win stage two at Bristol. And while those new tires didn't work to gain through track position by passing a rink, now they can all stay on the racetrack. So Hemrick and Allgaier will cycle back in traffic. A little different tire strategy up front now. Jeff Burton, Sam Mayer. See Riley he... Herbst on the inside. Back in the pack there, two car wide. Uh, Mike Snyder spinning the tires allows him ready to get to the bottom of the racetrack in that 18. A little bit older tires on the bottom. They needed a great restart to get ahead of those guys with a little fresher tire. Good battle here. Sam Mayer in the eight, trying to get by. Jeff Burton in the 10. Sam has been working that high lane. He was one of the first guys to go there and be able to make it work. Sam Mayer won in the trucks here a year ago at just 17 years old. And now out in front of Bristol. And Jeff Burton holding their track oh, position. The 17 car high up the racetrack and turns one and two with a flat left front tire. 
Oh, it's going to get narrow on corner exit right here. Yeah, probably going to bring out a caution here if he can't get to pit road. It does. Nice job. So Carson Ware, yeah. driving for Rick Ware Racing, is uh, behind the wheel and left front tire down. Brings out the caution for the eighth time. And this time it's Sam Mayer on the outside and Jeb Burton on the inside for the restart. Under 100 laps to go, 96 now. Oh, big stack up at the front of the field. Mayer clears Jeb Burton. Here comes Hemrick working that outside line with Sindrick behind him. Impatience, contact. More contact. The 22 comes to the inside for the lead. Austin Sendrick goes to the inside of Sam Mayer. Sam Mayer trying to fight back on the outside. This outside can work in three and four. Sam's not going to be able to do a good run on the exit. Oh, wow. contact! Hard into the wall. The 22 caught him. Sam got a good run on exit. Yeah. Wanted the spot. No smoke, yeah. no smoke. Have to use the eight. Eight gets trapped under the 44 car. Has to lift a ton off the corner. Makes a lot of contact trying to get to the inside there. And Cedric catches him in that vulnerable situation. Now coming off the corner here, Cedric comes up off the corner and tries to clear himself. He's not clear. Sam's trying to fight for every inch. They both make contact with the fence. Almost detrimental for both drivers, both cars, but that's a really hard hit for them. He needs his car just a little bit of air pressure adjustment to keep it from getting too tight. Middle of your screen, Austin Cindric, what do you need? I need a little bit more on the front end of the run. That'll be an air pressure adjustment too, Marty. Front end of the run. That's where Daniel Hamrick is so good. He said at the end of the run, and just couldn't get back to the gas because the car was way too free. But he told Dave Rogers, don't make a big adjustment. We are so close. Rogers promised it would be a small adjustment. He said it was loose all the way to the wall. In fact, he at one point almost came to pit road thinking he had a tire that was going down, Dylan. Sam Mayer in the middle of your screen. Tab Boy, the spotter crew chief, Taylor Moyer, just reminding him to stay calm. Said that the car's a little bit tight, late center after landing. Monitor that damage as well. Justin Allgaier at the bottom. All right, getting ready for the restart. 53 laps to go. Austin Cedric, a great restart. Seven of all there. Nice recovery from that speeding penalty all the way up. Well, I was going to say fourth. Call it the third position as he rolls the outside right here. Hope that choosing the top's the right choice. Oh, oh contact right there. Mayor's oh. going around. The seven Josh hit Williams the spins. eight. The eight slides. And a caution right. comes out to be a restart. All Geyer got into the back of the eight. He goes around. And now a restart. We've seen it multiple times. Well, we got all the terms. We got bump and run. <laughs> we got, I mean, it's all been created here. We see the nine come to pit road. You know, so Dale, the one thing is we talk about situational awareness, the seven. When I look at the points for the regular season, there's really no reason not to gamble. Riley Herbst, Brandon Jones behind them in row three. We are in overtime. Presented by Credit One Bank. Great restart of the outside. Seven of all guy right on the buffer of the 22. But the 16 battles back. Here comes Almendinger. It's Cedric and Almendinger into three and four. Almendinger up the racetrack. They make contact. Three wide for the lead. One lap to go. Here comes all guy on the inside. They go up the racetrack. Almendinger back in on the inside. He takes the lead. More contact behind him. The race for the win through three and four. Almendinger, Cedric, side by side. Almendinger wins it at the line. Hard, hard crashing off into turn one. I cannot believe what I just saw. Right into the door of the 22. This opens up a chance for Justin down on the bottom. Justin commits to the entry up the track, gets loose. I think, man, the 16's got it one. Misses the corner, off of four. The 22 just gasses it into the left rear. Look at this, cars come piling in. Big hits, especially for AJ. Yeah, Austin, he, Austin Cendrick, I'm sure feels like he just got driven, driven directly into right there by Amendinger. So on the last lap off of third four, he's like, all right, I'm gonna give you some more of that back. Right here. 
Riley Herb's got to be saying, I'm going to win this race. And smoke off the of seven. Well, and he has exited the infield care center. I don't know if I've ever seen anything so bizarre. But you now have the house, my friend. How about those fans sticking around to see what you did here tonight? Regular season champion and race winner, A.J. Allmendinger. Uh, I mean, that was uh, that was crazy at the end, you know. It was, we had about a fourth place car. My team did a great job. We just kept trying to work on it in there. You know, you got a chance on the bottom and, and uh, got in there and I slid into to Austin trying to throttle up and, and stay on the bottom. And, uh, you know, then into one, Allgaier had to run and there was contact there. So went down the last corner I expected to get run into. You know, I, it, it happened in the previous corner. It's frustrating to, to uh, get hit that hard coming to the checkered, but we're battling for the win. It's Bristol, baby. This is what it's all about, you know. I, uh, I haven't had a lot of chances to ever in my life win at Bristol, so you know what? You get a chance to go do it. You got to do it. And uh, that, if, if, uh, if I don't take that chance, I don't belong in the race car because, uh, you know, my team deserves to win. So. Uh, proud to uh, have Barger precast on the car for uh, for their second race, home race for them. So it's uh, cool to get another new sponsor in Victory Lane, and um, you know, not the way you want to finish a race like that, destroying a lot of race cars. But I love you guys. It's Bristol, baby. This is a dream come true for this year. Thank you so much. Whether you love me or hate me for that, you know what? Just keep being you guys, because. This is what makes the sport badass. Thank you. AJ, look at this replay. Walk us through it. And I remember you saying earlier in the race you didn't think you had a car. You didn't say this, but you didn't act like you had a car that could win. Off of two here. And then what do you see here? Opening. At that point, I got. I, I tried to throttle up and hope it stuck, and we, we had contact, and then... Justin got in there going for the win, and right here, I knew I had enough room, but I expected to, to have Austin get a run, but he did a great job. He checked up to try to turn the bottom, and right here, this is just gonna happen. So it's, uh, this is a big hit right here. This hurt, you know, well, of course, it was our own car, like, took out two cars there, my bad. Uh, you know, it's, I, all I can say, it's Bristol. Like, that's all it's about. Like, I wanted to win at Bristol, it, it's, uh, we're gonna have contact, you know, it's uh, Austin Sendrick's a hell of a race car driver, Team Penske, it's fun battling them. You don't wanna come down like that for uh, for the regular season, but it's it's the way it's gonna be, and I expect it to happen hopefully in Phoenix as well. But I think you sent a message to your team and everybody else about how hard you're willing to go for it. You know, I'm almost 40 years old, Dave. I, I mean, I was semi-retired. I, I didn't know what the hell I was gonna be doing, and. Full time, Matt Colley, Chris Rice, all the men and women at Call of Racing. I didn't expect this, so uh, why not go for everything you got? You never know how long you got left, so I'm gonna run every lap like it's my last one, because it might be, and that's what it's all about. That's the way it should be. What do you think, race fans? AJ Almondinger gave it to you tonight.